What's up, people? This is Chris. I'm really excited because we are about to do a review on a new electric skateboard from Backfire. I just got it and it just arrived. I'm very, very stoked. What's up, people? This is Chris and I'm here to do a review for you guys on the Backfire electric skateboard. Uh, it retails in about $4.50 a board. Um, I would say this is probably from at least what I've heard uh, and, and seen. It's probably the closest board you'll get to a boosted board without being a boosted board. That's the best, but they are about $1,600. So this one coming in about $450 uh, looks pretty impressive. It's supposed to reach 24 miles per hour if you're on high mode, and it goes about 15 miles. So let's take a look. Ooh. So here's the board itself. Looks pretty nice. One thing that is cool about Backfire is they give you the stock wheels that come with the board. It's 80 millimeters, but they also give you a second pair for, I believe, more for the high speeds. These look like a 92 millimeter wheels as well. It also comes with this little kit. So it's got your remote control, which is pretty nice. Got one of the little things for your wrist, which I personally like. A little tool kit in case you need to switch out the uh, wheels. And this charging cord, I'm very impressed. It's very tiny. As you can see, it's smaller, much smaller than my hand. So usually in the past, these have been a lot bigger. So let's take a look at it. We're going to be doing uh, ch checking out the flexibility of the board, how it rides, the uh, sound of it, and just my overall experience. So let's take a look. So one thing I am pretty stoked about is how quiet <laughs> the wheels are. Very quiet. All right, so we're gonna do the flex test. The first, you guys have my regular Sector 9 longboard, and then behind it we got the backfire. So this is the electric one, so you can see kind of what the normal flexibility is. Ooh, pretty good. Check this baby out. Wow, really flexible actually, I'm surprised. Very flexible, it feels. All righty, people, now it's time to go test this baby out. I hope I don't die. JB, if I die, call the cops. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you out there. All righty, so here's the board on its own. We're gonna go ahead and move it forward. And then you can break it. You can even go backwards to bring it back. All righty, so we are on. Let's see how this thing's gonna go. So right now I have it in the standard mode, which goes up to about 12 miles an hour. However, if you switch it here, now it's gonna be in sport mode, which goes about, it says 24 miles an hour, but let's test it out and see. Yes, yeah, so there's definitely much more get up. I feel like I'm definitely flying. This is sick. Very smooth too. Um, it, it's definitely a little bit more smooth when I'm on the standard mode, but on the sport mode, it's still pretty smooth. And this is with the 80 millimeters. So I'm sure if I put the higher uh, or the bigger wheels, that more than likely will be more, more smooth. But overall, great ride. 